Esther Macbeth. Mr. Speaker. Given that we have the highest burden of taxation in living memory, it is clear that the government's financial difficulties are caused by overspending and not due to undertaxing. Does the Deputy Prime Minister therefore agree if the government has got enough money to proceed with HS2 at any cost, then it has sufficient money not to increase taxes? If, however, it has so little money it has to increase taxes, which is a last thing for a Conservative government to do, then it does not have sufficient money for HS2. So can I gently urge the Deputy Prime Minister not to ask Conservative MPs to support any tax rises unless and until this unnecessary vanity project is scrapped? Because I, for one, won't support them. Sure. Come on. Can I, can I thank my right honourable friend? I, I, I think I followed the various steps of logic in that question. Um, I, I understand her opposition uh, to HS2. I think we've got some very difficult decisions to make. They will inevitably involve a balanced approach. Uh, I will leave it to the Chancellor to set them out in the autumn statement tomorrow. David.